Hi Darkroom Booth users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this short video, I am going to show you something that a lot of people run into typically when they are using um, green screen, but it's when they're trying to interact with an object in their live view and whenever it prints out, it's flipped. So there are a couple different options, but let's go ahead and start up the booth so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'm going to start the session. So if I put my arm around my son, it's then going to flip it because the live view is mirrored and now the object, in this case my son, is um, on top of my picture. So there's a couple ways to deal with it. The, uh, The first option is to go to your um, live view and set mirroring to, um, to no. So now, whenever it starts up, I have to, if I want to move, I'm going to need to move to my right to move. I need to move to my left in order to move to my right, which becomes a little bit awkward because that's correct. But if I'm actually looking at the actual mirror, my instinct is to do this. So the uh, that's that will work, but it does become a little bit awkward whenever people are used to seeing themselves in a reflection and how they respond to that. So the other option is to turn mirroring back on and go to your screen template and what we're going to do is pull up Photoshop and we're going to free transform this image and set the width to negative 100 so that it's now flipped, the graphic is flipped. And that's to match up with the mirroring. So we'll go ahead and save this file. And then on the live view, I'm going to go ahead and edit it, double click on that graphic and update it with the flipped version. And so when the live view is mirrored, my graphic is also mirrored. Now it's important that you do this to the live view or to the screen template and not the print template because if you look right down here, there's some text and that is now backwards. It's better to have the text backwards in the live view and correct in the print than vice versa. So always mirror the live view objects and we'll go ahead and save it and start it up. And now everything feels and looks normal uh, mirroring wise. And that is how you get past that issue. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.